Good afternoon. Today is the 15th of February and I'm at the London Classic Car Show where I'm going to just take you on a very brief tour of some of the vehicles here. I definitely won't be filming all of them um, but just some of them take my interest and just to make sure the video isn't too long. First of all I'm going to start with a tribute to uh, one of my regular viewers, is Mr Andy Shaw. Um, this is the 1968 Shadow Jeep, which Andy's already sat in this actually, but oh, I'm just going to film it anyway because, you know, why not? Um, this is based on an Austin Mini Moke and was used in two um, productions for Jerry Anderson of Thunderbirds fame. First one was a film called Doppelganger or The Far Side of the Sun in 1968, and then of course the UFO when it was slightly modified and these doors are added. Um, I'll just get to see if I can get the front of this. Um, I saw this car actually earlier this year at an ITC event. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, and yes, the colour is what they actually used in the filming of the UFO TV series in 1969-70. So they've got an Italian job um, exhibit here as well because it's 50th anniversary of the release of the Italian job film. This is the uh, Bedford um, six-wheel coach. Um, this is probably a replica of the original one I don't think exists anymore. You can see the Mini at the back of there. We've also got um, an Aston Martin DB4, that's the actual one from the film. They've also got the Jaguar E-Type from the film. This is 1961 Roadster, one of the very early cars. Uh, Lamborghini Miura, which is right at the start of the film. And then of course the other two Minis, I think these are probably replicas, they're not the original cars. They use about 25 or 30 in the film. It's hard to tell which one's original or not, but nevertheless they are. They're here and they also have the security van at the back of here, which is an OM, but they've modified for the film. This isn't a real one, this is, um, this is a replica of it. Just get to see if we get in front of this. Nice soundtrack there by uh, Matt Monroe, hopefully it won't get copyright strike for that. So there are a number of um, very Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to make your way to... Sorry for the false start there. Um, there was an announcement interrupting it. So we've got a number of early minis here, such as this one, which uh, is about 1960. We've got a Riley Elf as well, and a Woolsey Hornet. We've got an Austin 7, which is this one behind here. Um, it's the sixth anniversary of the original mini this year, um, so there's plenty of these around on this particular stand. Again, for Mr. Andy Shaw, we've got um, in 1974, um, Jaguar E-Type Series 3 V12, which um, is one of the more affordable cars on the show, actually. We've got this, uh, I think it's a Lola Porsche, maybe a Le Mans car. Then again, they've got a couple of Capris. This is a Capri 280 Brooklands, which was one of the last ones ever made. You can see that's a um, Essex plate, which is probably registered by Ford themselves. And then we've got a Capri Mark One. I'm not really an expert on these early ones, so I don't know what year this is. It's probably, I think it's a 71. And right next to it, it's a replica of the first car ever made, the Benz Patent Motorwagen from 1885. This was, we did a parade lap earlier on in the show and it broke down, which was hilarious. This is a very unusual car. This is a 1966 Reliant Scimitar SE5, um, made by the same company that made the Reliant Robin um, and was built in, out of glass fibre in Tamworth. They were very expensive when they were new. Also got a Toyota 2000 GT of about the same era, so under 66. Similar to the type of car that was used and you only live twice. Also a very nice modified Datsun 240Z. This is a 1981 Citroen Deux which uh, is similar to the one that was used in the 1981 James Bond film you own, uh, for your eyes only. Obviously it's full of bullet holes like the car in the film was. Right next to this extremely rare 1970 Citroen DS, uh, I think it's called D Capotable, 
and it's an absolutely beautiful car. There's quite a heavy um, Citroen presence at the show this year um, because I think it's their 100th anniversary. This is a 1998 Citroen Xantia Activa which uh, had an electronic anti-roll suspension. This is um, a very, very late, um, about a 1990 Citroen CX. And then, um, as used in the protectors, another old ITC series, this is a 1971 Citroen SM right next to um, a Citroen Meagri. I don't know what year that is, probably in 86, looking at the number plate. Um, this is a Citroen Ami, uh, probably an Ami Super Wheat about 1970 and this is um, Citroen GS, I think it's about, probably around 1979 or 1980 and uh, right at the end we've got a very very late um, Citroen DS, be about 76, um, very very lovely colour, one of the last ones they ever made and right at the end of that there's an H van too. This is a 1993 Nissan um, Pulsar GTIR. You can tell it's a GTIR because of this ridiculous vent in the bonnet. Uh, next to, again, I think this is a factory car, judging by the Essex plate on there. This is a Ford Escort RS Cosworth. It's one of the sort of later ones. Uh, Lancia Delta HF Integrale. Um, would be probably about 1990 or so. Um, Metro 6R4 Turbo. to a very, very nice um, Opel Monza Coupe, about 1980. Triumph Stag, this is a Mark I. I'd say that's uh, about 71. And then, one of my favourite cars, 1967 Jensen Interceptor SP. Bit of a uh, weird one here, this is a thing called Thunderbird 2 based on um, a 1993 Toyota Previa. It's fully road legal and has a 12 months MOT and they're offering it up for sale for £40,000. Now I very much like Thunderbirds but I don't think I'm that much of a fan to purchase that, particularly as the forward vision looks somewhat limited. I don't think even Virgil Tracy would probably drive that every day to work. Next to this 1981 DeLorean built in Northern Ireland we have the, the, an Ogle SX1000 that was one of the many, many kit cars that was based on the Mini. There's so many Minis here I'm not even going to bother trying to film them, but um, you probably won't see one of these again for some time, so just what you might want to little look at that one. Very handsome car made of glass fibre. This is a 1984, or probably registered 85, Ford RS200 rally car. Um, made of glass fibre, Funny enough, built by Reliant, but a Ford nevertheless. Um, you see a factory plate on this. One of um, a huge number of cars that's here, designed by legendary Ian Callum. One of his earlier ones, he's now a designer for Jaguar Land Rover. This is a 1959 Auto Bianchina. It's the Transforma uh, Transformabile, sorry, my Italian's not very good. Um, which has the open roof. It's based around a 3500. Absolutely tiny little car. Another car based on a 3500 is this 1971 3500 Vignale Gamini, also known as the Noddy car, as you can see in this little plaque here. Um, again, it's just so ridiculous how small these things are. Just wanted to video this rather nice Allegro. Uh, my uncle and my godmother both had these in the early 90s and they didn't look as nice as that. Very lovely uh, 1982 Alfa Romeo Alfa Sprint. Uh, this is a 1.5 Veloce. When I came last year, one of the highlights of the show for me was the Rover SD1 Club um, exhibit. This was a car, of course, used in the early episodes of the Professionals and in the New Avengers. Um, although we don't have too many early cars here. This is a very late, it's an 86 um, police spec one, 3.5 litre. Um, this is a 1980 series one, 3.5 manual, which is an American spec, they're really rare. Um, this is a, another 1980. 
Series 1. It's 3.5 manual. This is a very late one, it's an 84, 3.5 litre. Um, Vanden, um, not, not a Vanden Plus, sorry, it's an EFI. Absolutely and utterly beautiful cars. Really, really well designed. Yeah, it's a Vitesse. Really, really well designed. Not necessarily so well built, and just look at that beautiful, beautiful engine. Just found a couple of very rare Beardmore Paramount taxis. This is a 59. It was very unusual to see a type of London taxi um, in the old days that wasn't in Austin or what now is the London Electric Vehicle Company had several names but this was one of the rivals this was a Beardmore and they were made primarily in the 50s and the 60s looks very similar to um, what's an FX3 would have been at the time but not quite the same so we'll end this video on this um, wonderful wonderful 1969 Lancia Fulvia um, series 1 1600F. At 5.30, Broad or Spike, legendary race driver instructor, to present the College Hall Memorial Trail. Sorry, typical. Interrupted by... <laughs> interrupted by... Um, team at the Mons, did another Mons. announcement. That's at 5.30. Thank you. So, this is the Lancia Fulvia um, 1600HF. Which is one of my favourite cars of all time. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'm sorry about all the interruptions and the terrible editing. And I uh, hope you'll subscribe and um, like the video and comment below. And uh, I look forward to um, the next time we get to go somewhere like this. It's been an absolute pleasure.